Hello everybody, how you doing today? This is Dave again coming with you with another video. I hope I'll help some folks out. Uh, we're back here at my 2012 Freightliner Cascadia with the DD13 Detroit motor. Had some EGR codes come up on this baby this week. Uh, derated me. Not real bad. Not real bad. Derated me 25%. It was the engine code ENG2001, SPN002659. That was the EGR mass flow 00. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I did. Uh, I've seen some videos on YouTube. It really helped me to, to figure out what the problem might have been. Uh, but those videos were on the Cummins ISX motor. Uh, so I wanted to show you on a Detroit DD13 because I couldn't find any videos on that Where you're gonna find that sensor that fixes this problem, okay? This is the driver's side of the motor. Probably looks familiar to you. You got your fuel system fuel filters right here You've got your uh, CAC coming in here your intake going back here This right here This is your EGR tube, okay? Right back here. You've got an EGR manifold this little sensor right here, this is your EGR Delta P sensor, okay? This is what you're gonna wanna replace. This little sensor right here. It's right up here on the front of the motor. You'll push this tab in right here with a screwdriver. I did it there with my finger. You slide this out. All right, you'll slide this out. You'll take these two bolts off right here this sensor will come off. Now there'll, there'll be some dirt in there. There'll be a lot of carbon that you'll need to clean out. This tab right here will pop back out like that. It's locked in and ready to go. All right, one of the things I learned about these sensors is every 200,000 miles, you should change this this out. So I put it on my maintenance schedule now for probably once a year, I'm gonna change these out. Uh, more than likely, whenever I change out this filter right here, which is the uh, on the DD13, this is the filter for your water, your water filter. Probably when I change that out, I'm just gonna go right next door here and I'm gonna start changing this out every year. Uh, this is a culprit for a lot of your EGR codes so it's good to go ahead and change this out. Don't wait until you get codes. Go ahead and change it out. Now, the same time I was doing sensors, I replaced the sensor right here. This is gonna be your IMAP sensor, all right? I don't have it apart, but it is underneath here. When you do this sensor, this sensor is gonna run you about $125, okay? This sensor right here was $40 change it out also most of your EGR codes are from these two sensors right here and you will chase down all kinds of problems Freightliner will charge you out the wazoo replace these on your own two bolts up here you've got three bolts holding this cover on one here two down here then you got two bolts on the sensor itself it comes out just like that one replace them Easy to, easy to go. Hope this video's helped you. Thank you.